Hello and welcome. I'm Shivangi Anand Bharti, and you are watching our show Decoding Alzheimer's. An average adult human brain has around 100 billion cells, each performing their task like mini factories. If some part of any cell gets affected, the factory breaks down, and this ultimately affects the body and daily life of an individual. The Alzheimer's disease is also one such health problem that starts from the brain and affects the memory, thinking and behavior. Sadly, we do not have a complete cure for it, but fortunately, it is at the forefront of research. Involving an interdisciplinary approach, researchers from different fields, be it neuroscience, genetics, computer science or medicine, are putting their best efforts to decode why Alzheimer's happen and what can be done towards cure and prevention. Today we will talk all about it Dr. Pravat Mandal who is a leading scientist with international repute and made a wonderful effort of creating a neurological database called UNCH that identifies the specific cause of Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Mandal is a senior professor at the National Brain Research Center India and an honorary professor at the Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health, Australia. Dr. Mandal has been a senior editor for the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease since 2004. He is also serving as a reviewer for the prestigious Alzheimer Association, Chicago, USA. We welcome you to the show, Dr. Pravat Mandal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before we jump to the research you are working on, let us first understand some basics here. So, sir, yes. what is the basic difference between dementia, Alzheimer's and memory loss? Uh, what you are saying, these are all interrelated. Mm -hmm. Dementia thinks is that there are many mental problems. We have Alzheimer's, we have Parkinson, we have dementia with Lewy body disease. All of them call as a dementia. Okay. And all dementia memory problem is the common thing. Mm -hmm. So dementia is a basket okay. and Alzheimer's is also part of dementia, which is constitute 80% mm. of the total problem. So basically that's what many people say, Alzheimer's dementia. They do not say that correctly, but is Alzheimer is a profound role mm. in dementia basket. Okay. And memory problem is there in every cases. Okay, for dementia and Alzheimer's. Yes, yes. Okay. But I would like to say that in Parkinson's disease, there is no memory problem. It's a pure Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. That means there is a movements of the bodies will be affected. There is a different parts of the brain is affected. And memory may not be the problem at the till the end. That's called pure Parkinson. Okay. But some of the Parkinson persons also develop memory problem. They call Parkinson disease with dementia. Okay. And then some of the persons, they have symptoms of Alzheimer disease mm -hmm. and Parkinson disease. Mm -hmm. They call dementia with Lewy body disease. So they are very, very severe condition. Mm -hmm. They don't live longer five to six years. So they have symptoms of Alzheimer. Mm -hmm. They have symptoms of Parkinson. So, sir, uh, how do you diagnose Alzheimer and is there any particular test which the patient need to undergo for the Alzheimer's? Yes, there is a simple test. Basically, again, I tell you, there is a memory related problem. Mm -hmm. So, there is called mini mental state examination that has some 30 questions that can be administered to a neuropsychologist. They will ask that what is the date today, what, how you are feeling, how many son or daughter you have. This simple, simple question, people may not be able to answer one thing. Okay. And sometimes they have to ask a draw, drawing, a, in a clock drawing, that 10, 10, like 10 and 10. So they will be not able to do it. And sometimes they will be not able to say number um, 1, 7, 14, 21, 28 and back 28, 21. If you ask them, they will stop. This kind of situation may come. And also in a, some high profile cases, the person was extremely intelligent, highly educated. And they did many, many, uh, many work together without asking you anything. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden you ask something, what shall I do? He or she will ask you that what could be the best way. 
it was not the case so these are the symptoms severe symptoms the person has a problem because of decision making not only memory the decision making direction of somebody's house these are the serious symptoms okay. memory problem is also two things i want to very clarify mm-hmm. when you become older and older there you will forget some friend's name this is called healthy aging problem okay, okay? so this is not to be considered as alzheimer okay. but you are forgetting your even wife's name or husband's name and you don't not know that how many son daughter you have your grandson ka name so these are the concern sign mm-hmm. or you are putting your things in the microwave in the like watch in the microwave and waiting for what to do mm-hmm. these are the serious See. symptoms yes how is the brain affected by the alzheimer's disease uh the brain this is a very good question you are asking mm-hmm. brain fast uh, work in a uh, i want to tell you that brain remain in certain parts of the brain remain intact even your death after alzheimer also mm-hmm. but certain portion of the brain like hippocampus which is actually for memory uh, which is our place cell mean you came here today to the studio and you know that which location you go all information is placed there so you you exactly remember that that is there and frontal cortex areas where your old memory is stored there okay and uh, these are the two areas are being affected and what happen is these neurons of these areas are actually degenerated what does it mean degenerated they are destroyed so they actually taking a decision to going somebody's house how to go there no neurons are there no information is there mm-hmm. it's a blank mm-hmm. and if you look at their brain that's what we do a national brain research center their place is empty like a void situation okay cells are there or are dead so the volume is shrinking mm-hmm. so that is it happens so this alzheimer disease is yes. it related with the, the its onset basically is it related with the age or the gender um you ask this is a very always many people ask me in this center that gender women's actually uh, people thought that it would be their higher amount because they women's are special category they multitasking they live longer they do over smart other lot of activities so for that they live longer there is age is a risk factor mm-hmm. generally there is a hormonal change is there so maybe a little factor is there for women uh, that that hormonal changes and all the thing but there in general you don't see much changes for men and women mm-hmm. but age is a risk factor Okay. I have seen patient from all Indian Institute of Medical Science, Dr. Manjuri Devadi, and all the patients that many people, after retirement at the age of sixty or fifty-nine, they have a lot of symptoms of Alzheimer. I have also seen many people at the age of eighty-five, ninety, they have some initial problem, but that is at the age of ninety. So age is a factor. but the conditions where you are living financial condition your family environment these are the major factors for the person turning to the alzheimer early symptoms it is time for a short break we will see you very soon India Science Channel was launched in the year 2019 by the Department of Science and Technology Government of India The internet-based dedicated science web channel is being implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar, committed towards science communication. The channel features science documentaries, discussions on current topics, interviews, and different programs covering the entire landscape of science and technology to make science popular among the masses. India Science is a flagship project of Vigyan Prasar. and over an year and a half we have produced more than 1200 videos of different sizes lengths and of from different genre and for different domains for the people of the country we've uh, we've taken we've spoken we've gotten uh, we've dived deep into the reams of uh, different domains of science and technology and we have uh, gotten news stories films videos in almost every format that you can think of ott for that matter is a great platform that helps uh, anybody to look for 
any news, any item, any uh, video, any documentary at any point in time. All you need to do is to subscribe a channel for it. One can also download India Science mobile app from Google Play Store or Apple Store to view this channel. Welcome back after the break. I'm Shivangi Anand Bharti and we are in a conversation about Alzheimer's with Dr. Pravat Mandal. So, sir, mm. what do we know about the causes of Alzheimer's? Um, there you, this is a very, very relevant point. There mm. are three points people thought that amyloid beta deposition, one of the protein deposit in the brain called amyloid beta, that's what from 1982 onwards, sorry, 1992 onwards, it was discovered people work out. So deposition of the amyloid plaque was there. That's the cause people thought. Then second one, that it's science is evolving, you know, the mm -hmm. reasons is, we do not know the reason perfect till today. So what was the, another is that uh, tau protein deposition, another one also people thought that that will be reason, but that is not true anymore because scientific mm -hmm. discovery, the reason being that a older age person at the age of 89, they died and their brain was taken in two study has been shown, they have a lot of amyloid plaques but they do not, they were not Alzheimer. So having Alzheimer plaque in the brain doesn't mean they are Alzheimer's, they're the cause of the thing. But every Alzheimer patient has an amyloid deposition. So this is the cause. Now the third one is coming, very updated one, oxidative stress means that radicals are generated in the brain and brain has a very good molecule called antioxidant glutathione or other antioxidant, they trap the radicals. Mm -hmm. So they protect the brain from the neuronal degeneration, destroying. So this is a last four, five years, it has got a huge attention and lot of work is being done. It has been proven that certain amount of antioxidant, if it is not there in the hippocampus, the hippocampus also will be destroyed by the radicals. Mm -hmm. It has been now tested, published in a clinical population in a top rated journal. So it has been now going for a possible upcoming clinical trial. Suppose mm -hmm. some antioxidant is decreasing in the brain. So it's a logical sense anybody will say you take it and then you abrupt it and then it will protect it. Mm -hmm. But problem is that it was not known, people did not know. So this has been discovered at National Brain Research Center. Okay. Yes. So now we will talk about the research which you are doing. Yes. So what is that basically the neuroimaging research, the database you are working on? Okay. So you see the neuroimaging database, we are mm. very proud to say that this is done from the government funding a state of art imaging center. Mm -hmm. We have a partner at National uh, All Indian Institute of Medical Science at uh, AIMS, Dingwelu, Dr. Manjriti Party. So we have so far collected about 1,400 human brain, brain data we collected, 1,472 this much. Okay, sir. And we have so many patients that Alzheimer patient, Parkinson patient mm -hmm. and depression patient. So we have a huge database. Now what is you can say the novelty we developed this one that all over the world people thought that MRI image, PET image, we give this one and that will be processed by others and we find a clue. But we have spent 20 years, we do not have a solution. Mm -hmm. The reason being nowadays that oxidative stress I told you that we are providing first time in the medical literature, the amount of antioxidant available in the Indian brain that how much it is. So we have this information of all patients. So these patients, we have published it, mm -hmm. we have shown it. Now other scientists, other places, they can also look at the data because our job, our intention to cure the disease mm -hmm. as early as possible. So they can relook it, they can suggest something because science is not fixed. It is evolving like a river. Mm -hmm. So that's what from India, Atanirbhar Bharat, that, that uh, Prime Minister Modi ji that he is he's saying and I support that. So we have Atonirvar Bharat manifestation, we have ANS, the small database that has every state of art. This is why first time and it has been developed and published in a top journal, Frontier in Neuroinformatics. Hmm. So that's what we want to say that. How is this data collected and yeah. how do you study it? 
Um, this is uh, the journey I came from in United States where I was an assistant professor in psychiatry in Pittsburgh Medical School. So where I thought that I will uh, not work in US, I will go back and serve for my country. So in this case, and I all the good knowledge, learning, practice, I did it there. Mm. Now that thing, principles and uh, rules, regulation, I put it in place. We have excellent MRI machine. So we start collecting data from the patient, from the AIMS. And our name came through every places, uh, like Helpage India also, sending many, many people. We go to their mahallas, give talk. So our name is known by th many play people and mm. we give them free. We send the car to their house. We monitor their journey. So whoever wants to come to our house, they should not have any sorts of stress. Because we are doing stress research, they should be stress free. So sir, uh, you mentioned about MRI. Yes. Are people cooperative getting their MRI done? Uh, there are, we people actually, lot of people think that it is a radiation, mm -hmm. that it is be difficult and I'll be bombarded with radiation. I told them that 200 times I have been exposed to MRI. MRI has no radiation whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Even a pregnant woman can go for MRI. A bachyo bhi MRI kar sakte. There is no problem as such. And then we explain them. We take them around. We have a nurse, myself, Dr. Deepika Sukla, who is also a scientist. So we take them along. We have also other stuff. So mm -hmm. they get familiarization. Mm -hmm. And we also told them, you go, go in for a one minute and then you feel comfortable, uncomfortable, we'll take you out. So they feel like it is home. And also another tricks we do. We, when you go there, sometimes we ask them, where you are from? He said, I am from Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. We give Tamil music, songs. Okay. And they listen and somebody does the massaging of the leg. Okay. They will do and that's what they feel like comfortable and they start talking about their house and all nice. sorts of things. Our job is done and he is happy or she hmm. is happy. Hmm. It has been quite a knowledgeful segment. Time for a short break. We'll see you very shortly. India Science Channel was launched in the year 2019 by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The internet-based dedicated science web channel is being implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar, committed towards science communication. The channel features science documentaries, discussions on current topics, interviews and different programs covering the entire landscape of science and technology to make science popular among the masses. India Science is a flagship project of Vigyan Prasar. And over an year and a half, we have produced more than 1,200 videos of different sizes, lengths, and are from different genre and for different domains for the people of the country. We've uh, we've taken, we've spoken, we've gotten, uh, we've dived deep into the reams of uh, different domains of science and technology, and we have uh, gotten news stories films, videos, in almost every format that you can think of. OTT, for that matter, is a great platform that helps uh, anybody to look for any news, any item, any uh, video, any documentary at any point in time. All you need to do is to subscribe a channel for it. One can also download India Science mobile app from Google Play Store or Apple Store to view this channel. Welcome back. You are watching our show Decoding Alzheimer's. I am Shivangi Anand Bharti and we are in a very interesting conversation with Dr. Pravat Mandal. So, sir, I would like to ask you now that can we do anything to prevent ourselves from Alzheimer's disease? Yes, this is a very, very good question you are asking. First thing what we have to do is we have to do some exercise. Okay. I have found it out in our clinical research that all the uh, these problems mm -hmm. start from age of 40. We may not know that one because it is early even. So age of 40, even girls may be two years, 38 onwards. So this time onward, at least we should have some good activity, physical activities. That means skipping, jogging, this and also the food habit. Mm -hmm. That means you have to control the food, that fatty content food, has to be their fast food we are eating and positivity. Mm -hmm. 
that whatever information you are giving that is correct and it is not false and also is positive that there is a hope for the say i am now 50 i will have a oh, good time for 60 when i'm 60 i say i am having the good time so this self driven positivity hmm. is the another success for living healthy you may live 90 years but with so much of problem that is not the desirable so start from the age of 40 and jogging and doing exercise and early morning and say i will have a good day and sir uh, will the chances of alzheimer's increase in coming future specifically in india yes that is going to increase there are five reasons are there and this is genuine very okay. genuine number one is that we are slowly uh, isolated ourselves with a two nuclear family Mm-hmm. grandparents are not there father mother are not there most of the cases they live somewhere else right, so we only talk them through phone or that you mean not to face to face we don't see the eye to eye contact okay. that is very important you are happy i want to see you happy mm-hmm. you are you are angry i want to see you angry so that that brain react accordingly number there another thing is the pollution mm-hmm. pollution is increasing in every some we are in a different country pollution is increasing pollution what does it affect the brain pollution there are heavy metals are available Mm. they go to the brain iron deposition cadmium deposition and they actually uh, create havoc in the brain okay Mm -hmm. so this pollution thing and then the food habit Mm -hmm. our foods are polished with a color color is nothing but a heavy metals that heavy metal deposition is taking place and we are not doing exercise so i hope that these are yes. the condi- like a complexity of life is increasing hmm. some people really get time to get out of it mm-hmm. they say it's my time i'll enjoy my life because you have to live 90 year or 80 year with a very cognition very hmm. good condition so basically you say ki positivity yes. is the mantra living yeah. with your family yes. talking to your family yes. letting go of your emotions and yeah. everything will definitely help yes. right yes so sir if we come across someone who is in our family already going through these changes yes. how can we as a family member as a human yes. be help to that particular person yes it's a very relevant question i see one thing has to be done that uh, you have to put your hand behind the shoulder of this person okay. and have to genuinely, hmm. genuinely telling the person that I am with you. Correct. You are not going through a problem. I am also with you. Right. That this really has to be conveyed. Hmm. And then because then there is also uh, different therapies like hmm. a multi uh, anti multivitamins or if we have a solution of glutathione trial hmm. if it comes through a positive result then we can implement this so and then there is also symptoms based like a, your memory related enhancement can be done hmm. that doctors are giving your depression people become depressive because they used to do so much they cannot do it but please don't degrade the person that used to drive so much used to do so many things now you cannot do it that nudging things should be not told if relatives come say oh you are bad right now please don't say this word to him he or she should be surrounded with a positive thing one request i have to throw your channel i want to tell you they should be asked can you make a cup of coffee okay yes and when they do it, no, they get a self-esteem. Hmm. Make coffee banaya. Then you, whatever coffee is, you say it is good. So that and another is home environment has to be changed. If you have a financially okay, that house environment should be color house. So white color should not be there. And then give some flower. So these, these things actually makes things better. That is apart from the medicine and go for an ice cream in a mall, ask him to buy some ice cream for, for, for somebody and then mm. have ice cream with together and say, say laugh, little bit laugh. Mm. That is the uh, positive things will come out to the, to the person. Okay, yeah. sir. Well, sir, we have gained a lot during this conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you. That's the end of this episode. We will be back with more advancements in the field of science. You can share your feedback and suggestions to us on the email ID flashing on your screens. And for more such videos, download India Science app or visit our website www.indiascience.in. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thank you.